I actually went to Brooklyn, the Brooklyn Museum, to see the snake, which had been done as a temporary commission for the Brooklyn Museum lobby. The mural came down and was rolled on the sauna tube, put in a huge crate, and it went into storage for 30 years. Alexis has said to me over the years a few times, you know, if you can find a place for that mural, I would give it to you. It's contained within the glass of the building in the hermetic, you know, hermetically sealed building, but as you enter in from Ridgewalk, as you enter into the public realm of the project, it really draws you in and it's really enjoyed from the public realm. This space is 100 feet wide and about 10 feet deep. So you can't basically step back and see the totality until you go outside. And when you go outside, it, it's much better if it's at night because it's truly like luminous, like a lantern when it's at night, you see everything. Same Old Paradise encompasses all the aspects of her work because it has the collages that are really being showcased on the mural. So the whole, the backdrop is the installation for the collages. That's the whole reason that it's there. And the mural was painted, was designed and painted to be so realistic with the five point perspective. So no matter where you stood, you could see all the way through the orange fields. And talking about popular culture, which was definitely her subject matter. And of course, on the road, Jack Kerouac, because she almost always had some kind of literary reference. And I think really bringing all of the elements of her Southern California focus to her work into one piece. Even though it was talking about traveling across the country, it was coming to paradise. So it, it talks about California in all kinds of ways. I think it's an incredible work and I'm thrilled to have it here. And I'm thrilled that so many other people are too.